Amazon has never necessarily released laptops under their own Fire name until now. Now, this isn't technically a laptop, but they're billing it as such. They give you a keyboard. They give you a built-in case with a little kickstand, which appears to be separate, if I'm not mistaken. And they even show you that you can use a stylus along with it. They're pitching it to you under all their promotional information, all their advertisements, as a productivity machine with split screens and Zoom meetings and even flow charts. That's the way, that's the method of them showing you that this should be used for all of your productivity needs. So let's crack it open. Amazon devices have no unboxing protocols. They just rip the little strip and away you go it's as simple as that unboxing the keyboard case for the first time now this is not included with the amazon max fire 11 you have to buy this separately or choose the package that has all of them and it does look like a two-piece so you get the backing that yep it is a separate kind of thing going on here so we have a huge konnichiwa right here and this will be in your own language of course and it looks like you have some magnet snaps you snap it like that snap it to the rail and you can't even get it mixed up because one of the pegs is actually bigger than the other in order to make it so that you don't flip them and invert them and it looks like you just make sure the camera holes lined up and you can adjust the angle from there so let's get this all built let's get it all packed up and we'll see what happens so first thing we're going to do is lay down the back plate and make sure you line up the camera hole with that. It should just snap together with magnets. It's as simple as that. You don't need to line anything up. And then everything is adjustable via this kind of angle. Now it is quite tight and it does stay as well. And then it snaps with the magnets at the bottom when you want to close it. So that's that one right there. The material is very nice, by the way. It's a very thick, very textured canvas, and it's kind of beveled on the edge that goes down to a fine tip. Quite nice overall quality. No gripes there. And that carries over to the back as well with this keyboard. And we'll test out how the keys feel after. This part is a little bit concerning. It does seem to be quite flimsy right here. The overall case is very rigid. But this part, it's almost pulling away from the adherence right here. So just tread lightly because that's a little bit of a point of concern. What you would do is just put this on the table like so and line up the two holes right here. These are your guide holes. Now you can't mistake them because as we said, they're completely different sizes and they should magnet snap like that. Once it's connected, you can tilt the back out like this. It locks into place, put it down and you have yourself a little productivity laptop station in the form of an Amazon Fire. So with this, you can use the stylus now to move things around and click on things. It just mimics your fingertip. Although you, what you can do actually is click on here. So from here, you can use the accompanying stylus for if you have purchased the bigger, ex if you have per if you purchase the combo package, you will get a stylus as well and you can use that as well. If you purchase the full set, you can also use the accompanying stylus to move things around. You can tap things. You get full control over your fingertip or this can be used for sketching on the screen as well. It does snap to the side, but only to that side because this side has all of your other things on it. It's got your volume. It's got your power. It's got your USB. So it doesn't snap to that side. Now we're going to look at a simple notepad here, and this one's called plain old notes. So we'll just start something here and start writing. Pushing the keys down is not that rewarding of a feel. They are fairly soft. They don't feel overly mechanical and they don't make any noise when you click them down. You do start to get a little bit of noise when you clack on it. I do kind of like that hit that you get kind of a dampened sound. So I do appreciate that, but the keys don't feel the greatest to type on. You do get the F and J lineups right there. And you do also get some commands that the keyboard can do itself. For example, at any point in time, all you do is click the WWW button and it goes right to the web browser instantly. It's very quick. 
You can also do very familiar key combinations like alt tab that goes between tasks. So you can go over to your app store, press alt tab again, go back to your notebook, press alt tab a third time, go over to your web browser. You can utilize this for other languages as well. We have a Japanese button here and it will be your own language. Obviously, if you buy this from USA, you get the USA layout. You have volume controls on here. You have brightness controls on here. You have a caps lock, shift, function control and alt. If you click the email button, and you instantly get email. Go back to www, go to email, www. It's these really cool transition buttons that are pre laid out on your keyboard that it's going to allow you to go between these applications. You can press that and go to your file explorer. So they kind of make it as productivity centric as possible. If you want to go to the web browser and you say, I want to go to google.com you go like that and say oh i forgot to send an email boom go over to my email yada 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 bounce back over to here maybe add it make sure you have your document your signed document in which case you take your pen sign your document snap it back to the side and email it off all of this is very seamless they give you the option to use familiar keystrokes like control v control f etc things like that but you also get the predetermined pre-layout ones and if you don't want to interact with that you do get the back button and the home button for you to utilize just the keyboard there in and of itself. This is a very good addition. I like the direction they're heading with this. They're kind of going this productivity solution based approach as if it is a laptop for an all in one, even though it is just an Amazon Fire tablet that's just a little bit elongated to match up with the way it would look if you had everything in one package. This is everything you need to know about the Amazon Fire Max 11 keyboard. Oh